everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today, I'm just going to tell you about a few changes to my um, YouTube channel. Good ones, so don't worry. Um, instead of doing haul videos, where I just show you the products, usually I, you know, wait till I have enough um, products to show you a haul video. And then I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is when I order something and I receive it, I'm going to show it to you and then use it in nail art right then and there that day. So um, I hope you enjoy that. I, I am because it'll get me to use my products faster and um, also give you a chance to see what I do with them instead of just saying, oh, hey, this is what I got. And then maybe sometime a year later, I finally use it in a video. So I hope you like that change. Um, I do have one question for you guys. Um, I'm trying to figure out what days are good days to... Um, upload videos. So, um, let's see. Oh, Tuesday is always the YouTubers, um, stamping collab. So that's kind of, kind of right there on Tuesday. And I kind of like to do it every other day. Um, but with it being on Tuesday, the weekdays don't line up that way. So I want to know from you guys, um, what days do you guys like to watch my videos? There's only going to be like three a week. So there'll be the YouTubers one and then probably a She Modern one because I just got like a ton of stuff. But I am incorporating it with other nail art. So I hope you enjoy that. And then the other one will be some other kind of different nail art and possibly a haul with that nail art or whatever, um, or swatches or something like that. So I want to know what days you would like to watch those. I kind of noticed that when I upload on the weekends, the videos don't get watched a lot. And I know if you're like me, um, if you if you're like me, I look through all my videos, you know, from the people I'm subscribed to. And if I'm not available to watch one, you know, that exact day when I see it pop up, it might get lost, like, in the landslide videos. <laughs> so I don't want my videos to get lost. I want you guys to, um, and they have enough time to watch my videos and watch your other favorite um, channels videos as well. Because we all have favorite other channels, um, too. So I want to know what, what works for you guys. Um, so I guess your options would be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. Um, I will put a, um, let's see, I'll put a poll. I'll try to put a poll. If I don't put a poll, if you don't see the poll, then just, because I've never done that before, <laughs> just put in the description box what day you want. Probably I was thinking at least Tuesday and Thursday is keeping it that. And then, so I just want to know what other day. So you guys tell me. Um, obviously, if nobody picks Thursday as a good day, then I could change that as well. And that's set in stone. So um, anyways, for this video, um, I have a review, a swatch, and nail art. Um, so I'll be using the polishes that I swatched today in some nail art at the end. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm going to swatch the polishes out, and then I'm going to use them in nail art. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the package from Amazon. Okay. Great. Oh, it's a zipper bag. That's nice. So inside it, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, here is, here is the sizes of nail polish. So 15 ml is the full size, 12 ml is not bad, 10 ml is okay, and then these are your smaller ml, 7 ml, um, and these little ones have 7 ml too. Sometimes they just put the... Um, sometimes they just put the, 
polish in a bigger bottle so it's like a little bit more substantial um, but this is what we have here okay and here's some safety instructions FDA approved okay and here's a user guide and a user guide Okay, and then here's some stickers. So you can put the um, gel colors on there, cure it, and stick it on the lid of your polishes. Um, there's more gel guide. Here's everything that comes in here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I love this little brush. I have one, like right here. <laughs> so now I have two. Yeah, I like this little brush. It's cute. And it's nice to brush away dust. We've got some toenail separators. We have a, um, a nail brush. Let's see, we've got a couple of files. This one has like a buffer on the back. And this is 100, 180 washable and, dis and disinfectable. That one. Let's see what else do we have in here. Um, cuticle oil. I love cuticle oil. Can't have too much of it. So it's just a standard cuticle oil. Sorry, camera's not focusing here. And it just smells like oil. Okay, let's see what else we have. We've got a cuticle pusher. Um, another cuticle pusher and trimmer. And some nail clippers. And then we have alcohol pads and UV gel removal pads. And that's all there. And then here are the polishes, and there are the teeny bot. Oh, okay. What do we got in here? Okay, we've got a top coat and a base coat, and these are 10 mLs, so that's nice. And then these are the colors, and there are the small ones. There's 7 mLs. For the price, I don't think that was that bad. Um, I think it was like $33 for all of this. So if you divide it out, it's pretty good. And then here is a little um, portable LED lamp. So we're going to test that out. Um, instructions, a little USB cable. Um, probably this isn't very long. No, that's not too bad. I don't think it's going to reach my outlet, though. Anyway, um, so we're going to test this out, and I'm going to swatch all these little guys. And then at the end, we're going to do some nail art with these. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do these little dots so I can tell what color is in the bottles. Okay. So, first one we have here is yellow. Okay, and there is a pretty shade of yellow. Okay, and the next one we have is pink. I better not get these bottles mixed up. So I just don't know what's in them. Okay, so we've got pink. And what I'm doing is I'm just coloring on the dot. Or painting on the dot, trying to stay inside the lines. So I'm just going to finish this up off camera and come back. 
Okay, we have all six beautiful colors right here, and I'm going to cure them in my large LED lamp because it's more wattage, and that little one is only six, and these are really thick. Um, I put them on too thick, so I'm just going to cure it in there for about a minute and come right back. I'm just going to add this um, no wipe top coat to these because they're probably tacky, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll put them on the bottles. Okay, I like that the lids are nice and um, flat. So these little dots are going to stick on there really well. I really like that. Okay, so here's my little troop. And I've got some clear swatch sticks. So I'm going to swatch them on the sticks. And then when I'm done, we'll, um, we'll do a, a, man a Manny. Is a six watt. I have it plugged into my computer because um, the cord won't reach the outlet. Um, it says the default timer is 45 seconds and then it says like click on and off for 45 seconds and then click on and off for 60 seconds which I'm not really sure but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the swatch sticks under this light for um, 60 seconds. Um, it says it will cure in 30 to 60 and it doesn't mention the wattage of the LED light. So we'll, we'll try this out. Okay, so I think these are the color numbers right here. Um, and so this is light pink. And, and just so you can, you know, tell with wattages, I think I started out with a red carpet light and that was like nine watts and cured for, gosh, I'm trying to think, oh, 40, I think it was 45 second watt, um, light. So it's, you know, it's possible to use a, um, a lower wattage on some polishes. I know my wave gel says it works best with a 36 watt. So that's that's tend um that's what I tend to use. Um okay, wow, this like almost covers in one coat. That is really remarkable. I put it on really thin. It's a beautiful color. I'm really loving these colors and I cannot wait to put a Mandy on today. So that's pretty cool. So let me cure this and come right back. There we are. I have it under there and I actually um, have my, oops, my stopwatch, which is somewhere on there. Anyway, so I can figure out how many seconds it was under there. Okay, we're going to put a second coat on there. Um, appears to be hard. It's probably got a tacky layer, so I'm not going to be touching it a lot. Um, I did push it down twice because it was only doing 45 seconds try to get it to do 60. Not having any luck with that. Um, this is only going to need two coats. So that is a gorgeous pink. Okay, so here's two coats. It's nice and shiny without the top coat, but I'm going to put the top coat on. I'll show you this first application with the top coat. It's kind of a thicker consistency. I have worked with this um, particular brand before. Looks good. And we will cure that. Okay, and so here is the finished look. And it's pretty much exactly how it is on camera, how it is in person. Next up is 8003, and that is purple or lilac. So we're going to put this in um, on a, again this um, actually, it's really nice polish to tell you the truth I'm really liking it Uh, a little there's a piece of hair in there. Lovely. So it's great and you get hair on your swatch stick. Okay, hold on. Gosh, I still think it's there, but I just want to smooth this out a little bit without me like 
Trying to get the hair out. Okay, so um, this is almost a one coater, which is amazing. So I'm going to um, cure that. Okay, now we're going for the second coat. Okay, so I'm going to cure that. Okay, and here it is with top coat. Um, it's appearing slightly darker on camera than it is in person. It is a lighter, it's a real pastel lilac, um, very light. Next, we're gonna do 8025, and it is this beautiful um, sea green. And this is a gorgeous blue-green color. Again, I just have um, one kind of light coat here, and it's looking pretty opaque. So that is pretty awesome. I'm going to cure that. Um, on camera, it is turning up a lot more blue. It is not blue. It is a like a sea green color. I don't know why it's coming up that way. Hopefully my pictures will come up better. Okay, I'm gonna put a second coat on. I always wear two coats of nail polish. These apply really well. The color is great. So this looks pretty nice. Okay, so here's two coats and a top coat of something that doesn't look anything like what it's showing on camera. <laughs> um, like I said, it's it's a sea green. It's beautiful. Um, pastel, light, gorgeous. Not this color blue at all. Next camera. Okay, this one is 8033, which is yellow. Hey, let's see what color this turns out on camera. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is a very nice um, pastel color. Okay, um, these are really nicely self-leveling, which is really amazing. This one's a little bit more in the sheer side, but it is a pretty light color. Um, but it's really looking good. On camera, it's a little bit lighter off camera than it is on camera. It's coming up Tweety. It's actually pastel yellow. Okay, so we're going to put another coat on here. Again, it um, applies really nice. It looks like we'll probably be okay with two coats on this. Okay, so here it is top coated. Um, it's just slightly lighter than it's showing up on camera. Very beautiful. Next we have 8057, which is kind of like a fuchsia pink, which I really like. This is like my favorite color pink. Oh my gosh. All right, this is kind of like a hot pink. There's on one coat it is. It might darken up a little on the second coat. Um, beautiful formula again. Nice and shiny polish. Looks great. Um, yeah, it's pretty much that color on camera. Maybe a little bit more pink off camera. Okay, and we're gonna go for the um, second coat. Mm, it's a beautiful color. Okay, so here we go. 
and um, off camera it's a little bit more pink than it's showing up on camera but it's very beautiful and the last one we have is 8073 which is blue And this is completely, this is pretty much covering in one coat, so that's nice. And on camera, darker blue than it is in person. This is a pastel blue. Okay, we'll apply another coat. That looks good. Okay, and here is the blue. Top coated. And that's the last one. Okay, for this Manny, I'm going to use um, the Model 1's top and base coat. Okay, let's just take a look at how the base coat applies. Um, kind of think it applies like any other gel base coat. It's not runny, so that's a plus. Because you don't really want gel polish running all over your fingers. So I'm just going to um, put that on all of my fingers and cure it and come back. And the base color I'm going to use is 8057, this beautiful hot pink color. And this is a very beautiful color. My nails are kind of small, so I'm kind of liking these little brushes. Or I like thin brushes too. Okay, so I'm going to put that on all of my fingernails and come back. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my second coat. Okay, so now I'm going to use a dotting tool and I'm going to put all of the other colors, a little dab on this piece of tin foil. Okay, so here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little flowers, which I've never done in my entire life. <laughs> so let's hope this turns out. Oh my gosh. All right. Start out with a blue flower. This photo looks a little bit more true to the color. Okay, on the edge like that. Hmm. Okay, fix that a little. I think the key is to spread them apart a little bit so they look like flowers. Ooh, I got two flowers. Okay, I'm happy with those, so I'm going to cure them for like five seconds just to freeze them. Okay, let's see what else we can put on here. So I'm going to try this color. This is the green right down there. Okay, like that. Then I think the purple should go right here. Okay, 
So I'm gonna cure that and we'll come right back. I'm gonna put some gems on now for the centers of the flowers. For the gems, I'm gonna use Moira Fixing Gel because it's um, thicker. I put some flowers on my other fingers too. And the fixing gel I'm going to put in the center of the flowers. Always good amount. The dotting tool. Okay, and then I'm going to use a pencil and pick up the gems. Uh, time to pick up the gems. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and put them in the center. And then I'm going to um, cure this and then we'll top coat it. Okay, not bad for my first floral dot mani. Can you believe I've been doing nail art for like two years and I've never done this? Okay, so now we're just going to take um, this top coat. Actually, I could have used this top coat um, because it's really thick. I didn't even think about that. So I'm just going to put the um, top coat on my nail, kind of go around the gems. Okay, so I'm going to do that to all of my nails and then cure it and come back. So here is the finished look. I hope you like it as much as I did. It is, I just think it's super cute, super fun, super easy to do. Um, there's so many colors in this kit. It really is wonderful. I did forget to mention this in the intro. If you are interested in this brand of um, polish, gel polishes, these are called Model Ones. Um, if you want to try them out, like just buy one bottle or something like that, they are available on eBay. Um, you can just do the search Model Ones gel polish and a whole bunch of stuff comes up so if you just wanted to try one bottle and I believe one bottle is like two to three dollars um and they range in sizes they range in sizes from this size to this size I believe um so you can do that and if you like these polishes uh, or the set that I got here um it or other sets um, anyways, if you just like gel polish, I am part of a group called, um, Gel Polish Addicts on Facebook. The link is in the description box below. And when I get specials, because sometimes I'll hear about specials for like this set that I'm going to show you today. Um, and sometimes the discount will be 40 to 50% off, um, if you purchase it on Amazon and I'll get a code. Um, for you guys to use. So if you're, um, you know, if you're just wanting to, you know, know, know more about that, you can do that. Um, so far I haven't done any wear testing on this, so I don't know how long it lasts. And basically I don't ever wear my gel polishes for more than a week unless I'm on vacation. So unfortunately I don't have that information, um, right about now. I will try to get a wear test going on these um, two brands. I can't remember if the other brand I did wear for a week. I'm trying to think. I don't know. So anyway, um, but sorry about that. Okay, so um, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.